Hello, this is a demonstration of text-to-speech on Linux using LibreOffice with the ReadText plugin using uh, eSpeak and Python 3 and then also using a Windows program running on under Wine on Linux the Windows program being the web browser known as Opera. It's an early version, a 32-bit version from Windows, Opera version 11.60. Uh, you should be able to get up to version 12.02 working here. So I'm using Debian Stretch with the Mate desktop environment. The Linux kernel is version 4.9.0-8-AMD64. Uh, on an x86-64 processor, it's not an impressive machine. It's an old Toshiba notebook with an AMD Turion X2 processor with, I think, 4 gigs of RAM. So uh, let's take a look first at LibreOffice and uh, the eSpeak program. LibreOffice here is version 5.2.7.2. The read text plugin is version eight. I'm sorry, version zero point eight point three six. And we'll start by using the festival uh, festival program with a script, and then we'll use the, an external program, Python three, which is actually uh, it's it's not working. Uh, it's not even worth mentioning on here. I don't know if. There's something wrong with the configuration or what, but it's just awful. And I will not be demonstrating using a web application. I'm not interested in that at all. I want the text rendering to be done locally, not farmed out to some internet entity. So first we'll select some text from some current events. We've selected the text here, we'll read it. Six dot zero nine dot eighteen twenty one eleven. On the consultations of the member states of the organization of agreement on collective security issues at the on. Message to the media. Sixth September twenty eighteen in Moscow was held consultations of the member states of the organization of the collective security treaty and the coordination of positions on issues on the agenda of the 73rd session of the General Assembly, as well as other issues affecting the interests of the member states of the CSTO. Okay, now I'll show you using Python. External program. And we'll start with this first entry, voicemail1 TMP. Six point zero nine point one eight twenty one eleven on the consult. Uh, it you can see it didn't even finish. It it read about that much. I knew that would happen. Uh, it, that's been going on here. Let's try another version of that, which won't do any better. We'll do the, we just did the mail, voicemail 1 TMP. Let's do the voicemail 2 rate 30 TMP. Six point zero nine point one eight twenty one eleven on the console. Pretty bad. Uh, it read even less that time. 
So I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, but you can see the uh, festival uh, worked much better. Um, the festival was script. However, opera works better than any of those. Of course, it's quite an ordeal getting it to run on Linux in the first place. Thanks to the people that are working on Wine, uh, we can do that. But even if you, once you get it installed, it's another ordeal to get the text-to-speech working because it's no longer readily available on the internet. There are some manual steps involved to get it to work. And you have to find the, the right files. Oh, once you get it all configured, again, that's quite an undertaking, quite an ordeal. Uh, and you launch it and you check out the About Opera. You'll see IBM Multimodal Runtime Environment loaded for the XHTML voice. This is 32-bit Opera for Windows. And you should be able to get this to work up to version 12.02 of Opera. This is a, an earlier version, 11.60. Maybe later I'll go ahead and get it up to 12.02, but uh, you probably won't notice any difference at all with the text rendering quality. So uh, here's the same text. We'll select that. We'll right click the selected text and choose speak. 6.09.182111 on the consultations of the member states of the Organization of Agreement on Collective Security Issues at the UN message to the media 6 September 2018 in Moscow was held consultations of the member states of the Organization of the Collective Security Treaty on the coordination of positions on issues on the agenda of the 73rd session of the UN General Assembly as well as other issues affecting the interests of the member states of the CSTO. The event was attended by the leaders of the CSTO Secretariat, heads of relevant departments of ministries of foreign affairs, permanent representatives of states members of the CSTO, the representatives of the embassies of the states members of the organization. So there you go. That's uh, actually a big improvement over uh, Festival. Uh, I will uh, attach a video clip of uh, LibreOffice running on Windows 8.1 Pro 64-bit uh, using the ReadText plugin. Um, with uh, Windows native speech to uh, text-to-speech capabilities that's actually superior than anything you've seen here but if you're looking for a way to get away from microsoft windows then it looks like right now running opera on linux under wine is probably uh, going to get you the best quality at least that's my experience Message to the media. September 6, 2018 in Moscow was held consultations of the member states of the Organization of the Collective Security Treaty on the coordination of positions on issues on the agenda of the 73rd session of the UN General Assembly, as well as other issues affecting the interests of the member states of the CSTO. The event was attended by the leaders of the CSTO Secretariat, heads of relevant departments of Ministries of Foreign Affairs, permanent representatives of states members of the CSTO, the representatives of the embassies of the states members of the organization. I wanted to add something in here. I tried doing this video with uh, Open Broadcast Studio. However, that program requires OpenGL version 3.2. My video card doesn't have that capability. It can only run an earlier version of OpenGL. I think it's version 3. So what I used to make this video 
was another program called VocoScreen, version 2.5.0. And I wanted to show you the settings. It took a while to kind of get this figured out. I've got a Yeti USB microphone on here. And I'm recording right now, so you can't see it really well. But on the audio section, I'm using Pulse. So I'm monitoring the built-in audio stereo and also the Yeti stereo microphone. The video codec is MPEG-4, audio codec is AAC. I'm doing 30 frames per minute. And that's about it for the settings here. Oh, for the video, I've got an external monitor connected to this notebook. So I'm using the built-in monitor as my recording source and the external is where I've got all my other programs running in the background to help with this process. So there you go, Vocal Screen works pretty well. Well I wanted to point out also in the making of this video um, I had to adjust the audio sources and so this program you see running here is the Pulse Audio Volume Control. As for the configuration, I'm using the built-in audio. That's for the sound output. And I'm using the external USB microphone. It's a condenser mic, so I've got that set to analog, stereo, duplex. There's the Yeti. You can see where the volume setting is at. Hopefully that's appropriate. And the output, I, I've worn a set of headphones. The Yeti has built-in speakers. I've got that disabled. I've got the system sounds turned off. So anyhow, maybe that configuration will help. It's kind of an, uh, a, a project getting that to work correctly. It took me quite a few false starts before I found the right combination of settings.